Spain and Argentina conquered international football this summer. Today I'm going to unleash the full potential of these nations using youth academy system to create the best club in Europe. I took on Deportivo La Coruña that had just been promoted to the Segunda and as Depor is not an FC24, I created the club with somewhat similar patch, kits and random generated players. To replace those players, let's set up our youth academy system by hiring youth scouts Basil Marinatos from Greece and Mehmet Shaheen from Turkey. Marinatos will be searching for technically gifted center defensive midfielders in Spain, players like Rodri or Busquets. And Shaheen is going to find for us strikers from Argentina. And first player he brought for us is Fernando Rivas, 425,000 euros market value, 69 to 94 potential, a decent talent. He is already 54 rated striker, 17 years old, but according to his dribbling and passing, he can be higher rated in wings. So let's change his position to a right winger. Next player is also from Argentina, Samuel Ibanez, 625,000 market value with 80 to 94 potential. 55 rated striker, only 16 years old, he can be a great backup player for us. Next up we got our first talent from Spain, Aguer Lamelas, almost 300,000 market price, 68 to 94 potential, he is 17 years old, 51 rated only. But maybe we can convert him to a central midfielder instead. After converting from striker to a right winger, Fernando Rivas went up by 6 in his rating and is already 60 rated, not too bad. Next up, let's fix the left flank of the team by searching for defensive minded fullbacks in Argentina and technically gifted wingers in Spain. First up we got Esteban Ojeda, half a million euros market value with decent potential on him. He is 17 years old, 57 rated already, we can work with that for now. Next talent is even better, Diego Ruiz, almost 1 million euros market price, 78 to 94 potential, let's sign him and check his stats. Ruiz is 16 years old, 58 rated and unlike Ojeda, he's a right back, that's even better for us. And our first super talent that we have found in Spain is Sebastian Beroa. 2.8 million euros market value, 80 to 94 potential. He can be the first player to be promoted to the senior team right away. As our new talent is already 65 rated left winger with 5 star skill moves, definitely ready to play in the first team. So we are promoting him instantly. He does have 92 potential and guaranteed place in the starting 11. Next up we got Nicolas Soto from Argentina with good market value and up to 94 potential. He is 60 rated right back and I think we got our two players for this position in Soto and Ruiz. And as we made to January already, let's promote Rivas and Lamelas to the first team and loan them out for 6 months. Next positions to be filled are center back and center midfielder positions. But at first, we got Xabi Rodriguez, who to be honest looked dreadful as a defender. But with that pace and dribbling, he can become a really solid winger for us, so let's convert him there. The next super talent we have found in Argentina is Alejandro Pineda. Almost 2 million market value, 78 to 94 potential. He is looking very solid, 16 years old only, 63 rated center midfielder with good passing and great dribbling already. We will promote him in the beginning of the next season, but for now, let's convert Rodriguez from right back to a right winger. And he went up by 17 in his rating, massive upgrade for him. And the last player we have found for center back position is Gregorio Costa. 1.2 million market value and up to 94 potential on him. He is 6.1, 16 years old, already 62 rated. Very well rounded, with great pace and insane physical capabilities. Another huge talent for our team. We still need to find more central players for now, alongside a good, solid keeper. 
here we got our last report of this season and right away i see mateo alonso almost 2 million market value 72 to 94 potential a brilliant player for us besides him we have another talent ismail reina he's also looking not bad at all alonso is 63 rated already right footed central midfielder with good pace and passing meanwhile reina is only 59 rated but we have time to work on his stats so he is a good addition for the team as well. We approached the end of the season and if there was 3rd division of Spanish football in FC24 we would have been relegated. Dead last in the league with only 34 points, awful, awful results from us. But in terms of growth, we are looking surprisingly good. Birua is 68 rated, Ojeda 63, but especially the players on loan went up massively, like Fernando Rivas and Aguer Lamelas, plus 12 and 11 ratings respectively, in a single season. We do have a solid foundation for the team, with a lot of talent in the academy still waiting for their chance next season. And we are starting our second season with a massive talent from Argentina, Manu Roman, 2.9 million euros market value, 73 to 94 potential on this goalie. He is only 16 years old, 6.4 and 67 rated already, so goalkeeper position is sorted. So let's find striker for the team and a backup left back for Ojeda. Soon we got a candidate for that role, Andres Carrasco, with decent market value and good potential. Although he is only 52 rated, but he has got solid attacking stats already. And as we have already two wingers in Berua and Rivas, let's keep Carrasco's position as left back for now. Here is the team that we managed to assemble, with three central midfielders representing academy, alongside Ojeda and two wingers, other players will be rather on loan than on the bench. For now, let's set our tactical vision as counter-attack. It will fit our team perfectly in my opinion. And here he is, the player I was waiting for, Antonio Velasquez, stunning 3.5 million euros market value, up to 94 potential, an Argentinian striker rated 69 already at the age of 17, one of the best talents I have ever seen coming through youth academy system. Let's promote him directly to the start in 11. In addition to his rating and potential of 91, he has 6 playstyles as well. This is truly insane. Antonio Velasquez, welcome to the team. Next up we continued our hunt for defenders. And I found this guy Nicolas Santana, 1.5 million market price with 79 to 94 potential. He is 62 rated already, let's promote him to the senior team. As well as Adan Franco, whose market value is million euros and he is already 61 rated left back. We can loan him out for now. Uh, we finally found a really tall defender in Raul Aguirre, 1.8 million euros market value for a center back with 63 rated. Rating. Man, he's a giant, 6.6 .6 being only 16 years old. Aguirre is the main candidate for the left center back position, very impressive talent. Our next player representing Argentina is Juan Macordoba, tiny market value compared to the other talents we have found so far. But he is very well rounded, very strong and aggressive, with decent passing but let's change his position on the field and convert him to a center midfielder. And finally, for the last report, we are going to search for any type of player in Spain and Argentina. Another impressive goalkeeping talent from Argentina, Manuel Ramirez, 2.6 million euros market value, 79 to 94 potential, 65 rated already with very respectable stats. He is going to compete with Manu Roman for the position between the sticks. And by the way, after converting to a center midfielder, Cordoba went up 2 in his rating and is 58 rated now. Another good option in midfield for us. And last but not least, we have found the most outrageous talent of these two years of scouting, Felipe Soria, unbelievable 4.1 million euros market price, up to 94 potential, 67 rated Spanish left winger, only 16 years of age with 5 star skill moves and amazing dribbling and pace, simply unique talent, welcome to our team. And this is officially the end of scouting mission, as a result we completed our team of 21 players most of them will be in the team for the next season but we are going to loan some players out also
In terms of results, we are 18th in the league after 42 games, a small improvement compared to the previous season. We lost to Real Sociedad in the Copa del Rey round of 16. So let's hope we can be promoted to the La Liga next season and with this team, I think it is possible. Just look at the playstyles some of our players have. Velasquez 6 playstyles, center back Aguirre with even more 7 playstyles. So let's simulate till the end of the third season and check the standings. This time we ended up the season in the 9th position. This is a good progress. But we were out from the Copa del Rey in the round of 32. And in terms of goal contributions, as expected, Lasquez is the top scorer with 20 goals. Good season from Rivas and Birua as well. And again, good growth from the players on loan. I believe the next season is going to be ours. This team is fully capable of winning the Segunda, but in reality, we are only the third, three points short of automatic promotion. In the promotion playoff semi-finals, we beat Leganes with the aggregate score of 5-2 and we absolutely smashed Las Palmas in finals 3-0 on aggregate. So we are indeed promoted to the La Liga, finally, and in the Copa del Rey we reach the quarterfinals this time, where Valencia beat us 2-0. Antonio Velasquez had an unbelievable season with 42 goal contributions in 50 games. He is already 87 rated. What a player he has become. And another impressive season from Fernando Rivas with 18 goals and 12 assists. Our two players on loan, Carrasco and Cordoba, are also progressing fast and are ready for the La Liga football next season. We are starting fifth season with this setup. A really good team. I think we can put a fight for a European spot this season. Our attackers are very good, but defenders still need to grow. Anyways, let's simulate the season and see. I mean, we didn't play good enough. 51 points in the La Liga is very good for the team that had just been promoted. And surprisingly, Real Sociedad wins the league with 80 points. Fair play to them. In the cup, we lost to Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. This time Velasquez and Rivas were a little bit off and got only 24 goal contributions each. As you can see now, we do have a couple of players who developed playstyle pluses already. Ramirez overtook the goalkeeping position from Roman. Carrasco and Cordoba also have become starters. And here we got the final shape of the team. Which, you won't believe me, won the La Liga from the second attempt, despite the fact that we got only 73 points. <laughs> this is hilarious. A decent season from us. And an utterly shocking from everybody else. And as a result, we are Spanish champions. In the cup, we beat Real Madrid in the round of 32-1-0. And after that, we got the easiest run ever in this competition by beating Deportivo Alaves in a round of 16, Racing in the quarterfinals, and El Dense. Who? Oh! in the semis, 3-1 on aggregate. In the final, we beat Celta comfortably and just like that, won the second trophy of the season. In terms of individual performances, again, Velasquez with 23 goals and 7 assists, Rivas got himself 22 goal involvements as well, and unexpected 13 goals from our left back Carrasco. Let's see whether this team can replay its fantastic season next year as well, and maybe win the Champions League from the first attempt. But no, we are only second in the league, although this time we have more points than a year ago, but we are 3 points behind Barca. Sadly we lost the Supercopa final to Real Madrid, no Copa del Rey for us as well, and in the Champions League we lost to Liverpool in the quarterfinals. And again, Velasquez and Rivas were our two best players of the season with 32 goal contributions in 50 games each. And Velasquez even won his first golden boot in the league. And next season, let's bring this UCL trophy home. But at first, second La Liga title for us, we won the Supercopa de España as well. Again, no Copa del Rey trophy for us. And in the Champions League, we were flawless in the group with Gladbach, Stad René and Basel. In the round of 16, we beat Juventus 4-2 on aggregate. In the quarterfinals, we matched up against Real Madrid and beat them 4-1. And in the semis, we smashed Sevilla with the aggregate score of 5-2-9. We will face Milan in the Champions League final. In terms of stats, 35 and 5 from Velasquez. He was first in terms of scored goals for us each and every season. And the second was Rivas, this time 21 and 11 from him. 
Here you can see the Milan team we are facing. A solid team, but we have much better team with 94 rated Velasquez, 95 rated Rivas, so many high rated players alongside them. The lowest rated being our captain Costa. So let's smash this Milan team and bring home the Champions League trophy. We started the game with a brilliant chance, but Carrasco missed from 15 meters, pulling the ball wide. In the 13th minute, Nicolas parried the ball right in front of him after Aguirre's shot and Velasquez managed to get there first and squeeze the ball in. A terrible mistake from Milan's goalkeeper and we have found an opener in the beginning of the game. Five minutes later, Diogo Jota missed a great chance to score from a close distance. Manuel Ramirez with a save. Milan had another great chance in the 36th minute, but Ruiz made a double block to deny both Jota and Teo Hernandez. In the beginning of the second half, Rivas and Velasquez organized our second of the night, giving us a comfortable lead of 2-0. But Milan did not give up and managed to pull one back in the 79th minute after a corner kick. Just after that, Milan continued to force the goal and created a real goal-scoring chance in the 92nd minute. Manuel Ramirez made a huge save to keep our lead. But Milan got a corner kick. Leao crossed the ball, De Ketteler with the header and another astonishing save from Ramirez to win the Champions League trophy for us. We successfully accomplished our mission of creating the best team in Europe with Spanish and Argentinian youth academy talents only and conquered the Champions League in 8 seasons. Pretty impressive in my opinion.